Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the Sage 2024 Showcase. This time we're going to be checking out the game Celestial Soul, which looked quite cute. You play as the little fox character you see on the left there. He's taking a little nap, I guess. Uh, this describes itself as a 2D game about an anthropomorphic fox who's found himself in the middle of somewhere. He's on a quest in the void to retrieve the lost sarge of his sar shards of his soul, which were shattered by his clumsy new friend. This is apparently the first public demo that includes three main levels, one extra bonus level, a bunch of cool music, a playable Sonic the Hedgehog, stage exclusive, extra modes and abilities, two unique challenges for each main level, plus one unanimous challenge, I don't know what that's supposed to be, and more stuff I don't think I can list here, says the guide, okay. Uh, this seems to be running in a custom engine. Uh, there's notes about how Windows Defender will try to block the game, and that it takes, like, a little bit to launch. I think it's, I think it's a custom engine, as far as I can tell, so custom code and stuff, which is intriguing. Uh, I'm curious what they've done with this, but this appeared to be a 2D platformer, possibly in the vein of Sonic. Uh, I don't know if it's speed-based or not, we'll have to see. But it just looked rather cute, and it looked rather charming. I wanted to take a look to see what this game had in store for us. Uh, of course, before we begin, if you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, you can think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, think about coming over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner, but of course, need more viewers to do it. So if you want to come by, whether to lurk or to talk, think about doing so, because it does make a big difference, and we honestly would love to have you. We also have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out. I have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content, and I have a merch store if you want to buy some cool stuff. Links in the description, and you can check them out at your leisure. We also have uh, Sheik and Reese here today, which, by the way, I haven't asked you guys, how are you guys doing today? Yeah, why? <laughs> I'm doing good here. I'm good. I'm chill. Chill, chill. That's good. Chill day is good. I'm having a chill day, and then I have a two-day weekend after this, so that's pretty chill. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, let's take a look at this. Um, so there's a number of things in the options I wanted to look at first. For instance, there's a help. So let's look, let's get some help. Um, the void. Oh, I'll read this. Wait, so it's called the void, but it's not a void. Like, it has stuff in it. That's not a void. Is this an outrage? The void is a strange area filled with creatures and souls. On rare occasion, a new character can manifest someone's idea. In the case of this game, call it. People with many ideas usually artists, can enter the void. Their ideas, like characters and places, are manifested in the void. When a character retrieves a soul, they will be warped to their respective world. Whether or not they retain the memories is decided by their creator. Speaking of that column thing, I noticed in the description here, it stated that... At least... Uh, no, it didn't say here. It says stated somewhere else. Yeah, right here. So this is right here, right below, actually. How to play is Colin. So is Colin the fox? I guess that's what his name is, right? Um, so he has a double jump. He can roll. Under small slips? Under small slips? Do does that mean slope? Or slips or slopes? Hmm. So you can dive downward, which destroys boxes. The dive can be used to effectively put... That's Wait, is that used for the word quadruple? I I feel like the L and the E need to be switched around, but I'm not sure. I uh, think? The dive can be used to quadruple jump, so jump, dive, jump, dive. I see what they're saying, I see what they're saying. If you hold the opposite direction when you double jump, you'll be flung in that direction. That sounds a little odd, but okay. So basically, if you hit the double jump button, but you're pressing back, then you fling in that direction. Okay. Huh. Uh, by finishing the demo, you'll lock Sonic, which holds you to jump higher. Press X midair to do a thock. It's going to do a bit of height to push you forward. Uh, press and hold X on the ground to spin dash. So you need to, when fa fa falling, to charge up a drop dash. Okay. We have missions. Each stage stage has three missions, while a third of each are shared. The other two are unique to each level. To access the mission, press the right key. That's like one of the missions. So we brought the level and we'll be tasked to face the mission. If done so, stage one. Okay. Guidebook. Select to view the guidebook. Oh, what? Oh! Now Earthbound Shop. <laughs> well, what? That is exactly the Earthbound Shop music! It, it is literally the Earthbound <laughs> Shop music. So let's learn about cool stuff, I guess. It is the best shop theme in any game, by the way, in my personal opinion. I know Timmy Shop is cool too, I guess. I haven't played Undertale. But Earthbound, come on. <laughs> but Earthbound. <laughs> okay, walk around. Move left, right, move that way. Jumping. Press Z on the ground and jump in the air. If you do it again, you can press the right down and jump. Okay. Better type gaffs, caps. Oh my gosh, look at a little <laughs> Oh, he runs at all fours? Oh that's adorable. And then goes into yes. a roll. By the way, I'd like to note that he has silly arms. They're just little sticks 
The little, little, little threads with a ball in the end. Like, look at, the, look at those arms, though. I love the arms. Dive thing. <laughs> dive thing? Okay. Ah, yes, the infamous dive thing. I love the dive thing. That's the best move. Jump forward. Okay, yeah, that makes sense during a, during a roll. Okay. So use all the opposite direction if you jump. Okay, I see. Yeah, that is actually kind of useful. Oh, but they're not saying you have, like, I, when it said fling, I thought it was like a variation of the dive. No, it just means that you're doing the double jump, but you can indeed reverse direction really fast, is what they're saying. That's good. That is useful at times. Do not touch hazards. They take 1 HP. This is going screw It's a death. Do not fall down. I normally wouldn't look at the tutorial stuff before I play the game, but... I mean, sometimes I do. But this is really cute, so I just want to look at it now. <laughs> love the thing. Love the, the, the little extra effort. Essentials, please touch. Checkpoint. Soul shard. No. Mark the stages. Okay. That's all. Have fun. Nice. Bye bye. I, I can't leave. Actually. Goodbye. <laughs> oh, you're start. stuck here forever. Can't leave. It's start apparently. Special characters can be found via the debug menu unlock by face. The game scroll around to see how the secret characters play. Uh huh. Mini, Marty. Please don't play as Marty. Why? <laughs> Blue, buggy up finished. Okay. I am now intrigued. Well, okay, let's play the game and lock all this stuff, I guess. Um, is there anything left I... to mess with here? We're leave foul language I... on. We're not gonna use the secret option 4 3 aspect creation, which is hi hiding down here, by the way, but it, I found a secret. <laughs> Wait, that makes me realize I should probably press down on literally everything, huh? I just like how polite they've been doing this. I see. Please don't do this. Please touch. Please don't play as this guy. Hmm. Proper inference was made. How to play as the heat death of the universe is, I think, what that's saying. Yeah. Yeah, I think that. Ah! Is apparently how you do it. All right, then. All right, so I'm going to write down that password. <laughs> I, ah, I, 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 I might be able to remember it, possibly. <laughs> <laughs> uh, user interface. Hide UI off. Nah. Keep a color. Okay, what? Oh, wait. Hmm. It's not scrolling down, but something's selected. There's nothing there. I'm pressing things. Nothing happens. Okay, that's interesting. No secrets on the audio screen. Just checking. Save data? Nah, okay. Sound test? Oh, that's cool. I wonder if the game actually has custom music. I, I, I think this option same is. Obviously, the the Earthbound music was... Well, it was a Genesis version. This also lets me press down for some reason, but nothing happens. Okay. All right, let's, let's actually play the game, though. We have an extra speed ball to worry about later. <laughs> All these question marks. <laughs> All right, let's see. Tutorial, then. Place all the sound effects of Pudis off. We did it say that? Also, we're dead, I think. What? I've already lost the game. Ow. So, yeah, we're fine. It's gonna be a world record. <laughs> Where am I? Hmm. So, yeah, we have momentum. And it, if we hold back, the momentum slows down a little bit. But double... Yeah, so if you if you do a jump in midair, you can change your direction instantly. That actually feels really good, actually. I died. Okay, now I died. Now, now I officially died. So it's kind of like Sonic style momentum, but I can change the momentum on a dime if I do an air drop. Basically. I have a feeling they're going to be using that as a mechanic in the game more. I have a distinct feeling of like precision platformer going to happen. Okay, so RT plus B. Okay. Are these palm trees? I do, I do like that. I do like, I do like that little leap. Speed of leaps. Oh. Oh my God! The drop dash. He does the most adorable drop dash. <laughs> Basically, he has a drop dash. Yeah. So let's try, let's test that. Uh. I see. What, yeah, that is like a quadruple jump. Okay. That's a big drop. There's nothing back that way. I don't think I have much of a choice. That was quick. <laughs> oh, whoop. those are candies. I should be paying attention. 
It's okay, that, that the golden cannons heal you, apparently. I'll just test the mechanic. Who's that? Uh, hello? I think you can hear me. Hello? Hey! <laughs> oh. I was expecting you to get here this so fast. Who are you? What am I doing here? Uh, yeah, uh, shit. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> Call me Blue. Second, you're in the void. A place where new and lost souls sometimes are. You're one of my creations, and you're in an empty soul. And you're an empty soul. So I'm just kind of conscious for all around. Exactly. Now, uh, wait here so I can grab your soul. All right, you'll be sent to your body. Wait, does that mean? Be right back. Now just somebody just comes to you and say, "Give me a second, I'm grabbing your soul." Okay, I got your soul. <laughs> it says it just it was a soul on the shelf, I guess. I'm so confused. Shut up and stand still. Tell that face. Was that my soul? Uh oh. Okay, look, everyone in the void hates me for no reason, so you're gonna have to get the shattered pieces. Please tell me the void is small. Oh no. Okay, this art style is very clearly, like, kind of simple, but the also the creator clearly knows how to draw. Like, it's using- it's a simple style, but well animated, basically. The face, though. <laughs> okay, here we have this walkie-talkie phone thing. If something happens, tells me. I'm gonna drink- go drink some unlicensed juice now. Good luck! <laughs> <laughs> Hi, you moonwalk! Bye! Oh, Bye. there's a licensed joke. Okay. Juice. okay. I love the I love the Dalek face right now, like that bottom one. My goodness. Okay, this this game I'm digging this game's personality. I love it. Oh, that's where. Okay, it came from a box. My bad. Fair enough. Yeah, apparently they're fragile. Good enough. They are fragile. Is that some kind of container? Looks to have a soul shard in it. We gotta break the thing open. I don't think I can do anything with this right now. Guess I'll hold on to it for now. Okay, gotta keep moving. Yeah, I already, I already like this. Score? High enough, apparently. Oh, a damage one. I got an S. But I got a horrible time. Can I? Is there a higher than S, or are they just being really nice to me? It you know, is the tutorial. That's true. Let me, let me, let me do better. I can. I know I can. He did not die, that's all. And also remember how to roll. I get a way better time because I was meandering. So let's just find out if the if S is the highest, because this will tell me right now. S is usually the highest. Yeah, well, there is like S plus SSS or some of that stuff too. True. Just feels like I didn't earn that S. <laughs> That's all I have. Oh, the cutscene does advance time too, so I guess the longer you sit on it, you have to go through the cutscene fast. Where is he still doing a cutscene? You're on a speed run. <laughs> also, I do like how the rock came to play there. The little rock. I was gonna say, the box says fragile. <laughs> Fragile means throw underhanded. Yeah, of course. <laughs> yeah, that was like half the time, so let's just see if anything changed. Okay, CAD confirm. Great! Wowee! Yeah, it was S is best. Okay. It's, okay, in that case, I appreciate that- I know it's just a tutorial level, but I appreciate they made it nice. Just in this year's stage, we played a tutorial level with a, a ranking system, and it was a struggle, remember? So... Oh, yeah. So this is a, it's a good sign. Um, so the fills, okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Also means that I can make mistakes and not be like, oh well I fucked up and fell. Hello. Oh hi. These are just dummies I made while using scraps I found. Go ahead, roll into one. 
Okay. Oh, okay, I see. It, like, vibrates a little bit. Uh. <laughs> oh, it's a mechanic, okay. <laughs> I was like, oh no! <laughs> Legend is out of hand guards. I think it's a warning of fall damage. Wait a minute. If that's a fall warning, then why was there a fall warning in that one other area that I thought there was a dead pit, but there wasn't, I guess? Okay. Things I will note. Oh, goodness me. Alright, I get it. Seems like you don't require the quadruple jump that- hello. Gotcha. Take that. Uh. I Why is this cool? Why is this cool? <laughs> Why is this cool? Well, like, you notice how it's shiny, right? These ones aren't shiny. They aren't sparkly like that one was. Oh, I get it. <laughs> Secrets here, but I can only get them if I go back. I understand. That's actually good. That way, you know there's an item hidden. Oh shit, hidden somewhere. Hold on, I, I must defeat that guy. A roof. No, oh, that didn't hurt I, I got him. What's that? Well, you bounced off it when rolling. That didn't hurt you. True. So I'm sorry, that's kind of scary to grab, but it's actually not that hard to grab. These enemies are weird. <laughs> like, how they're designed, I mean. It's okay. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. Wait, actually, wait. There's stuff down there. Somebody looking behind a tree. Like, I just kind of... Oh, okay. Oh. Wait, am I supposed to go this way, or am I supposed to go the other way? I don't know why I decided to commit. <laughs> it's all good. Shrugs. Maybe we had to figure out what happens when you fall eventually. Well, I need to see what the other yeah. rankings look like for the title screen, for this background screen, I guess. That's another reason I did it? I don't know. Nope, oh, can't, can't do that. There probably are secrets, but... Yeah, this is a game where I actually feel like I care about ranking it. But the first run through a stage, I think I'll just, you know. Yeah, I saw that guy. I saw that guy. Hello. What the hell? How'd you get in front of me? Logic. What? I took a shortcut. <laughs> a shortcut? Hey, blind or something? Oh my god, you're a moron. Look, just keep going. I have something for you. Okay. I always love that excuse when they when the NPC gets ahead of you. How do you get here? Sword cut. So it didn't say death pit here, right? Yeah, it didn't. Okay. <laughs> I see. The rules are mildly inconsistent. Gotcha. Eh, consistency is boring. I mean, I guess the idea was like you should expect that, but I don't know, man. Secret. I don't know what's up with that guy. He's facing his own demons. <laughs> there's a combo system on the enemies, by the way, but they're so sparsely laid out, it doesn't really matter right now. God damn it. Those guys are a real jerk. They're gonna be hard for the, the ranking run, for sure. How is that an? Oh my god! Hmm. When I died, while it added to my time, it reset my damage count. So I only had one. I got hit like five times there, but then I fell in a pit and only got hit once after that. That definitely means I like should. Exploit! <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> Also, the music's pretty good. Frosted Flakes! That's a that's an adorable level name for a snow area. It's kinda cold. 
But I don't. I do worry that you might get sued saying using that word, though. Oh, okay. Hello. I'm not really using the quadruple jump too much because it requires a little extra thought to my brain, I guess, which apparently is difficult. I don't know. Nah, it's honestly not that hard. You just have to do, 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 but you know. It controls very, it's, the, the controls music. are very nice, by the way. Oh, God. Way forward. It's down here. Candy! Also a way forward. Hmm, choices. So if you go up, you miss candy. Uh, nice. oh, I'm sorry, on. Charm. You can never go up now. Oh. <laughs> Only downhill from here. <laughs> wait, some things are just dead. I just realized. Like, wait, hold on a second. I mean, you did roll a giant snowball down. Oh, that's why. Because I didn't really think about that. <laughs> that was that bad. Now he is. I wanted. We actually didn't, was it going to be a combo when they died? I actually don't know. Like, to the snowball, did the proxy count as a combo for me? I wasn't paying attention to see. I guarantee there's gonna be another snowball, so we check it in. Is it obvious I'm trying to pick up all the candy? <laughs> it's nice that it does magnetize. Yeah. As it should. Also, look, I don't like- I really- I don't really care for enemy combo multiplayers, but this one's really slow at fading out, I noticed, so... These enemies are legitimately hard to defeat, because they kind of, like, lunge at you. But if you notice, like, for instance, that times two there, it lasts for quite a while. Hello there! So what did you want me to see? So there's a really cool forest ahead. It's, like, rainy and dark and scary. You know, stuff like that. Okay, but... why? I saw where the Soul Shards fly over there. Could've said that first. What are we waiting for? Hold on, I'm trying to think of something funny. Yeah, I got nothing. <laughs> last one, last one there is Ron Soul! <laughs> what? Hey, wait! <laughs> wow. Okay, Have... that was pretty funny. Hello, hello there, Mugawara Boshi. Have you seen the Sonic tapes? I'm not... No? What? What's that? Horror! Uh, analog horror. Okay, that is the third time a new viewer has showed up for this year's Sage. And their first message was, Hey, did you know about Psych Horror thing? Hmm. Why does this happen three times? Shucks! <laughs> Why does this happen three times this year? <laughs> that is, in other, the last, like, two weeks, it's happened three times. It's very odd. But so, hello, welcome. <laughs> I've never heard of that. What is it about? Sorry, just like, I had to take a second, like, wait, deja vu, man. <laughs> there, before the Sonic EXE guy was another guy that was, like, bringing up Sonic EXE FNAF, I think, which I do know about that. I think it was that. I can't remember what it was. I think it was that, though. Also, that's all the levels for now. But I, I think there's missions. Aww. Oof. Mental supporters. Mental supporters? The short Mental! Hmm. <laughs> A little mental there. Oh my Wait, god. Wait, mental supporters as in they are mental or mental supporters as in they are therapists? I'm gonna guess that means moral support. Press X to Probably. pause. I'm gonna have to look at the thing and pause to... <laughs> I, wow. I have no words. <laughs> That'd be a good question. It's a debug level, so.
Charm breaks games, everyone. I didn't break anything, what? Hey, look, you asked the same question. It's earlier design <laughs> of the level and stuff. They're showing early design stuff. <laughs> Yeah, this game has that kind of shit toasty art style, but like done very charmingly. Oh, wait is that super? Is that super calling right there? Oh, the <laughs> super <laughs> special stage design. bonus levels. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What's I don't know what's up with that guy. Yeah, I I, guess I saw him in the palm tree. I like how this was like credits, but also I'm done with the credits now. Let me just show you concept stuff. <laughs> Like, I like it for Crimson just transition into that. Not gonna look like this in the actual game. Random color, still no name. Not gonna look like this in the actual game. Not going to be small, angry gremlin man. Okay. Ah. Spoilers, click to reveal. Cut for being possibly against stage guidelines. Ah. Uh... Oh no, that's... Ah. 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 <laughs> I, I, will I will click it on my end. Let's see. Uh. Yeah. Um, it's actually just a text log. Okay, hold on. Let me see here. I hate when people do that. It just gives you more of a curiosity. Actually, I is that against Sage guidelines? It seems fine enough to me. Uh, I'll read it out. I guess I won't display it just in case, but it says Paul the Thunder. So the original idea behind the Frost and Flakes missions is Paul the Thundercloud, a resident of the Void, has gone missing last week. He hasn't showed up to work or even gone home for days. He was last seen in the northern snowy parts of the fields. Most people assume that the cause for his disappearance was a murder. While we don't have enough information to be sure, other recent cases might correlate with this one. A murderer, often described in appearance as a vibrant pink creature, has been the cause of many disappearances lately. Authorities are still trying to find and capture them. Please report any signs of that creature or fall to us. That's all it says. I Murderers, I don't really see the problem with talking about murder a little bit. I, I, it's a video game, man. It, it should be fine. Uh, but yeah, so I, I, I don't really... Hmm. I'm confused why, they're, why they are didn't want to risk that. Well, I've seen straight up violent games on Sage, so... Does Sage have guidelines against violence or something that I, I'm not aware of? I have no idea. Also, we should. We must be sure on Lost Sonic now. Yeah, yeah. Also, you guys are talking about a Pandora's box that we can address between episodes if you like, but not right now, please. <laughs> if you like the Super Call ability, yay! If you like the debug mode, yay! If you like character Sonic the Hedgehog, yay! If you like the tile tag, yay! Uh, anything else? <laughs> okay, that's it. <laughs> Yeah, guys, let's let's start right now, please. And Beerus, I will get you on, get on you for that because that that is uh that's that's a fucking yeah. Let's do the missions because there is missions you see. Under twenty five seconds, okay. That's nice. So say, how would I do under 25 seconds of these cutscenes? And the answer is they don't have the cutscenes. That's nice. <laughs> hey, I suck apparently. Oh god, the, wait, no. Are you saying there's? Oh. Well, technically, they can rank your mission progress, but it doesn't matter. It's just one ranking for the stage. Died of the singular set of spikes. Where? Oh, I know where it is. Also, what? That's an odd mission. But I can do it. Sure. Well, <laughs> I 
I ran too fast for one of the pickups. That's hilarious. I didn't actually know. <laughs> look at I like that image. Collect all berries. Okay, I think I know what they all are. So make sure I, I need to make sure I don't outrun any though. I think I know they all are. <laughs> I'm like also thinking. Oh. Oh, they didn't even want me to beat the whole stage, it's part of it. <laughs> Which I you can tell because I'm actually I'm missing berries, but in fact I got them all for that mission, so. Can't what, are the, what, what are these other symbols? There's a challenge level down there. Um, okay, so let's see here. Reach a checkpoint about touching a grab hand. Okay, yeah. Okay, okay. I'm liking these challenges already for a very simple reason. Um, they're they're not just boring, you know. They're actually challenges to talk about doing interesting things in the level, which kind of makes you think of like achievement hunting in quirkier games. Yeah, don't grab a grab hand, got it. It's basically telling you just as we avoid a mechanic, just make it a little harder. Yeah, it's interesting. It also explains why that platform was there. I like how I'm going A, B, C. Next we're gonna get D. Yep. How low does it go? Refrain from killing Probably a the whole stage. Okay. Or it just give you a per like a participation trophy. <laughs> you were there. <laughs> Yay! Not I killing, exist. Not killing enemies is actually a little tricky considering that those guys run away from me, so it's really easy to like move forward and land on them. So I'll just be a little mindful. Yes. Truth be told, I do not like participation trophies. Oh, Sam. Same. I don't normally have like ranking systems, but this one doesn't bother me. Ah. Uh, yeah, one enemy like... lunges at me, and another enemy runs away from me, and both of those pre present their own issues when it comes to like avoiding the enemies. Yeah, yep. when I was in high school sports one year, I got the most improved trophy. Most improved. That yeah. feels really bad, kind of like good job. You don't suck anymore. Like what? <laughs> Truth be told, I liked it because that year. Swim team, just so you understand. I did drop my times by a significant amount of time. Okay. I mean, but it's cool to have improvement. It's good to have improvement, honestly, but like. Yeah. Wait, why are these enemies running away from me? Alright, well, there we go. <laughs> I like the eye. So you guys can't see the icon because it gets blocked, but I can show it afterwards. The icons for these, they make, they make special icons for each of these types of challenges, as you may have noticed. This one's just Angel. Also, even I, I, okay, everything here is really well thought out. I'm noticing, like gameplay-wise, just how good this game is. Yeah, there's S, there's S rankings for time score and hits, and but like it's really generous. You, we've noticed how it easy, how easy it is to get an S rank. You just have to try decently hard, and you'll get it. It doesn't even require you to get all the berries. It just requires you to get most of them, um, which I appreciate. So we have getting all the berries. The only time it requires you to get all the berries is the challenge missions that require it. But you notice how the challenge mission to get all the berries doesn't even make you play the whole stage? Like, it's gonna end midway again. And I understand why they did that. It's because play the entire stage and try to pick up every berry might be obnoxious in some stages. So they were like, let's have it be a, a, a pocket challenge where you're playing part of the stage for that objective, you know? Which is honestly way smarter. These challenges are designed to be interesting and not necessarily the most difficult thing in the world. They're the They're sort good. of challenges I like, the ones that make you think for a minute. But don't, you know, force you to play, like, the level 20 times just to get it done, you know? They could definitely expand upon it, too. Like, make the challenges augmented of the level. Yeah, and they have, by the way. They've already been doing that. Like, the level, they're doing certain, for instance, the grab hand challenge could only be done in that one level with the grab hands, or any other level of grab hands, I suppose. But my point is, yeah, the challenges are unique to levels, and I appreciate that a, a heck of a lot, actually.
but I, those count too. And this one actually might be making me play the whole stage, though. If it, even if it does, I'm not really bothered by this because it's kind of fun. And the stages are not too long either. Yeah, they're not too long. It's not a big deal. The other one, it made me play like half the stage, which I found interesting. This one's a little dastardly, though, because there is the, um... These. Which you can very easily overlook. So you need to know the level. You need to definitely know the level. Oh, that's really... Yep. Yep. I don't think I landed on that, but apparently I did. Yep. That also means if you reach in, that you have to collect the ball. Yeah. I realize how dull those guys. If you jump right before they hit you, then you'll take them out. <laughs> Wait! I completed the mission, but clearly I missed a berry somewhere. Or maybe that score was because I got hit. Maybe I lost 20 points for that. Alright, well, whatever, I got it. Alright, let's see what we got here. Finish the stage without touching a single snowball. Oh, that's, that should be easy enough. That's more just self control. Hmm. Admittedly, some of them are kind of in the way, but... Now the, the vertical level design will actually really benefit me, though, because I can jump over most of the level, I think. With some, rather, with some risk, my view, but... I think it's worth it. I mean, there is a risk of one pits and two lighting on a snowball while doing it, but... I think overall it's gonna make me avoid stuff, so... <laughs> yeah, I see what you mean. Look at he's like, ah, come back! Green Demon Challenge flashbacks right there. I still got it. Oh my god, yeah! Search the level for Paul the Thundercloud. Oh right, the guy who got murdered. Let's look, let's take a look. Okay, by the way, I have no idea where he is, <laughs> so... I guess we'll have to proper look. So here's a mission I can't just instantly do because I don't actually know where it, where it is. Indeed, a pit. Turns out. I wonder how that tree grows that way. It doesn't occur to me, since I don't need to worry about ranking for this challenges, I could just fall into every pit. What do, what do you guys think the thunder. What do you think Paul's gonna be? I'm thinking of the sky, but. I did, hmm. like, cross the level skyward that on that other one and see him. Maybe he's just in this challenge level, though. It's possible, maybe. The reason I didn't see him is because he only exists here. I'll just take the top path and see what happens. Paul isn't in the game, sorry. What? Oh, Where are then. <laughs> I fell. Uh, I also think I saw flocked. What? <laughs> <laughs> How? Well, then. I don't think he expected me to be that airborne during that little cutscene break. <laughs> So now I'm just hiding. Alright, alright. All right. Now you could say I broke the game. Somebody said it earlier. Now early. Charm breaks games. I don't think you expected me to be air, like airborne or that high in the sky or something when that happened. Uh, alright then, we were lied to. 
Well, he was removed because his story involved murder and that was too serious or something. I don't really understand why the dev removed that for that reason, considering this, the, we also have the characters cussing. <laughs> it's like saying shit and fuck. So, like, I don't know, man. What do you mean, empty profile? What do you mean, empty profile? What do you mean, empty profile? So this game doesn't save. I guess... Oh, that's a bit of a shame. I wanted to do a bit more of this, but, uh... I'm not replaying all that. I know it's not that much, that long, but uh, I'm not redoing all that. Uh, so, Dev. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, hold on. Because there, here's the thing. I want to point this out real fast, just to, just to explain something. Um, see, there's, there's a zero profile that's a no save profile. And I was like, well, I'd like to save. So I went and I selected empty profile. But I never pressed any of these buttons. I just simply hit A, and it went. So... Let me check something. Did they... Did I have to perhaps customize it for it to work properly? Because it certainly didn't ask me to name the profile or anything. Okay, I've now given it a name. Let's see what happens. <laughs> Obviously, I've lost progress. I'll beef the tutorial just to test something. That's, uh... That's, that's not great. I, uh, I wonder if I did something wrong, though in my... I do not believe... I don't, I, I don't think I blame myself in this situation. It's possible I did something, like, wrong with the profile system, but it literally let me... Hmm. I think I just realized something. I think- if- if- the, if I'm correct that this saves after the, I beat the story level, then I think I know what happened. And if so, that is definitely the developer's blunder and not mine. I don't think I made a blunder here. I mean, I may have made a- I may have blundered into the problem, but, but I- I think I just basically... I guess Char was breaking the game the whole time, actually, because I, I basically was playing a bug the entire time. I think. We'll see if this saves, because if it does, then I know exactly what happened. It's just Char Embrace game, question mark. This is a bit of a shame. I actually wanted to play as Sonic and check out the challenge level and also see how debug mode worked and mess around and see if I can play as the Heat Death of the Universe, but I guess we won't be doing that. Oh, that's a shame. Truth is, the game was bugged from the beginning. Exactly, though. And keep in mind, the only reason we found out is because I softlocked too. So that's another point against that. Like, because typically the no save thing wouldn't be a problem too much if I just did everything I wanted to do in that one playthrough. But I had to restart because I softlocked. So. Is my best run yet, actually. Um, yeah, if we go, if we go back to main menu, let me guess. Two things I'm going to find out. First off, quit. Yes, I've quit. Notice how I quit naturally. There are two possibilities in my mind uh, as to why things didn't save. I have to make a second save file to test the other thing. Once I have tested both things, I can tell you what happened. I'm going to guess that it is now saved. Probably. Because I just did a double blind test. Yes. And does it have progress saved? Yes. Thought so. Right. Now to check the other thing. Basically, I've now narrowed it down to, yes, it saves because of this or that reason. And those reasons are, by the way, that either because I quit normally to the main menu and then hit the quit option in the main menu. That may have been why it saved. Or it may have saved because I made a proper profile name. I'm going to now check to see which one it was by just doing one of those things but not the other. So, one second. 
So in this case, let me say I'm going to make a new profile. Oh, look at that. You notice how it immediately po pops up the edit profile information? Ah, but I can still say no, thank you for the and put no information. Okay, so let's test the other thing. So now I have another blank profile, you notice. Actually, you know what? Let's make a proper, quote-unquote, test profile. I'll give it a color and stuff, and there. Give it a new picture or whatever, I don't care. <laughs> yeah, that's a perfect picture for this situation, actually. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> So, in this test one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play the tutorial level, and instead of going instead of going to quit here, I'm going to just close the game after that. And then I will know which which it is. It is either the fact that... So, I think I, I think it's probably... I, I bet you will save just fine when I quit without orthodoxly quitting. I bet it will be fine. Because I think I know what it was now. Uh, if you're wondering why I'm bothering to check this, one, it's annoying, so I want to know what happened, and two, Dev needs to fix this, so I better find it for him. <laughs> because this is a really bad mistake. Like, this is... Well, I mean, you really can't get much worse when it comes to game bugs than, oh, your game data doesn't save, or, oh, your game data gets deleted. Like, that is the actual, like, worst possible result in most cases with a game. Yeah, that's like having an old NES game and the battery dies in the cartridge. Yeah. Like, nothing makes a player stop playing the game like, oh, I played for half an hour or an hour or something, and then I stopped, and then when I came back, it was all gone. So I think I'm done with this game, you know? That's how I am. If a game does that to me, I don't feel like playing anymore. <laughs> Timer said I found it. Instead of second timer, it's actually a 1 11th second timer. Really? Oh, you're right, it is. It's transitioning after it goes all the way to 10, and then it go, transitions and it starts over. That's weird. Yeah, it goes back to zero. I see that. I'm hmm. like, yeah. Okay, anyways. Hello, Sonic Knuckles. How you doing today? That's what. That's the other guy I was mentioning. <laughs> oh, actually, on that note. Did that other, did that other guy that showed up today. Yeah, Moogie said... No, he didn't actually explain what he was talking about in the Sonic games. Okay. I don't know, they just sort of said bye. Okay, so I completed the level. I hit continue even, just for fun. If we're gonna play here, you'll notice I do have these le this level blocked, I have this level done. I'm closing the game without going to the normal quit. What happens now? The game time is off. Yeah, it's not actually counted correctly. I had a feeling that these felt off about that timer. It's basically adding a second. It's basically adding one tenth of a second every second. So every ten seconds, it's actually eleven seconds. What? Yeah, that's how the timer works. Yeah, it goes a little slower than normal. Okay, so if we go to test, loading save data. It always loads. Notice. Okay, it's saved. Then I know what the problem is. It does save every time you do something to, that would be progress, it does save right then and there. However, the reason I had a file that didn't work is very simple. I It's not because I had accidentally selected the no save like a dumbass or anything. I definitely was on a save file. But here's the thing. I'm going to now delete the two save files I made because I want to test one last thing to confirm what the problem was. Because I think I know what the problem was. The problem was... I was a, I, I, the problem was this. I was running an empty profile. I was running a profile that had not been given a name. Ah! Notice! Notice how, right now, all I have is the option to select a no save profile or make a new profile. If I make a new profile, it immediately asks me for information and I must enter the information in. Even if it's no information like this. But the question is... I guess I have to run the tutorial one more time. Basically, when I started the game the first time, what's interesting is there wasn't a no save and nothing else. There was actually a new pro there was a default new profile. So I just simply selected that and played it. That's what we played. We played the new profile that had no name. No, it had just had the default name, default picture. 
but it just existed from the moment I started the game up. I, I did not play this game before the stream. It was just there when I started the game. So I was like, yeah, I'll just select that profile because I'm good with that. I just want to play with a save, so I'll select that profile. So that profile that first existed when you first install the game, when you first play it, might be a broken profile that just doesn't save correctly. Try exiting without ever hitting the main menu. Hmm. Possibly. Yeah, sure. Why not? Mm -hmm. I'll beat the stage, hit continue to go to the next stage and close the game. It is possible that maybe this saves when you hit the main menu. That is possible. That, that is, I'll check. The, I'll confirm that with this run as well. Unfortunately, the dialogue cannot be skipped. Well, unless you're in time trouble. Or that one mode where you're trying to hurry. This game is extremely charming. <laughs> and I'm sure that later versions will not have this bug, so it won't be a problem then. But man, this just destroys my interest in seeing the rest of the content. So I'm going to hit continue here. I mean, this right? game definitely has potential. Um, game. This is what I would to term call a game-breaking bug, since it literally can mean a brick to save file. Um, it seems to be very situational, but of course, I'm Charm Breaks Game, so naturally I will bumble into that situation without even being to. That's just how I do, apparently. Um, but to be fair, I don't think this is a situation that I bumbled into by obtuse accident. This is actually something... Well, let's see Let's see what happens. So I, I did not go to the main menu at all. What, what's the status of... I bet, you, I bet you this. I bet this profile is fine. I bet it saves. It saves. Okay. You want to know what the actual issue was? When you, yeah, it is exactly what I said. The game started with a default new profile. That default new profile was bricked for the start. It's bugged. It doesn't save. It existed for some reason, right upon loading the game the first time, but it did not function. It did not work correctly. So if you play this demo, it starts with a default profile. If you use that default profile, your game will not save. So if, if pretend this is that default profile I had at the beginning of the game, because that's what it'll look like. If if you play this game, what you want to do is you want to hit that uh, you want to hit that trash can. You want to delete the profile. And you want to make a new profile because that starting profile is legitimately not going to save you. Oh look! 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 look. Did you see what I just did? Okay. okay. I don't have the I don't have the mouse. I, I I wonder if that also breaks. I wonder if that also causes the break. Okay, let me pull my mouse on the screen. Okay, watch this. No profile, right? New profile. Actually, never mind. It still exists. This might be another brick profile. I'm not sure. I'll play the tutorial one last time to find out if I brick if this is a brick profile too, because that would that would pinpoint the bug if it is. <laughs> Sorry, I sure, play the tutorial so much. Go insane while playing games. Well, no, 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 no. This is just bug testing. What I'm doing, where you're playing the same thing over and over again to bug test. You know, that's basically. I'm. You're welcome, Dev. I've done. I'm doing bug, bug testing for you. I do believe that either. Like, so yeah. So if. So Dev. Dev probably accidentally left a like messed up profile at the beginning of the game that you shouldn't be using. I wonder if I had edited that starting profile, if it had been, it would have been fine then, if it had a, like any sort of editing to it. But that starting profile the dev made did not work correctly. But you notice how I did something that doesn't seem right. I went to make a new profile, and then I was like, "Never mind, I'm actually not going to. Let me back up." And it still made the profile. That might also, this might also be a brick profile because I did that. This is exactly what being a game teacher is like. Yeah, I kind of know how to like pick things apart. I'm pretty good at testing things, actually. Because I can kind of go like, oh, that glitched. And I, some people might be like, I don't know why that happened. But I'm like, oh, wait, 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 I have an idea. Like, like I have an idea why this happened. Unless you go the extra mile. It, it, it's either the default profile the game that the developer actually left with the game upon release, 
is broken, or you can make a broken profile. That, that is a fact, by the way. He did leave a broken profile in the game, in this game's demo. So if you use that broken profile, you will not have a save. But it also might be possible to create your own broken profile. I may have just done so. We'll find out. I'm just going to hit continue, then I'm going to close the game. Then I'm going to open it back up. No, I think this game is, like, legitimately a 9 out of 10. It just happens to have a, a bug that makes me want to stop playing it. If that bug is resolved, then everything's fine. Uh, but man, that's really annoying. <laughs> that's a really bad bug. Um, Alright, this is, we by the way, if, 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 this is not an infinite test stream. Don't worry, this is the last time. This is the last check. This is the last thing to narrow down all the information for me. So, interesting, it has a zero. Why does it have a zero now? Okay, no. So keep in mind, this is my keep, keep heart. in mind, this is a bug save file. I made, I said I wanted to make a profile, then I backed out of the profile making screen, and it still made the profile. So is it bugged? Yes, that's the bug. Okay, so let me tell you why the game starts you with a bug file. I know what happened. Dev did this, right? Dev probably before he saved this build of the game. He made a profile, just to like make sure the profile function works or something, and he backed out of it without actually making the profile. And then he closed the game, and was like, yep, this is the build for Sage, and put it up as a public build. But, because he made- he entered a profile making screen and then backed up, it made a profile that is bugged. And I don't know why this profile bugs, but basically the profile will bug if you, um... Yeah, so basically, if you, I'll do it again just to just to demonstrate, be crystal clear about this. Okay, there's no way to actually get back to them. Anyways, I could do this probably infinitely, but basically, if you just enter the profile creation screen and then back out of it, it will still create a profile. But that profile is literally a trap. If you try to use it, it will act as a no save file, basically. And thus, you think you're going to save. It literally says it's saving, by the way. But it's not. <laughs> it's not! <laughs> um, I bet I could do this. So yeah, so so basically, yes. Yeah, it's, it's simple as... So dev, 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 dev. You gotta make sure when this X is hit that it doesn't make a profile. I bet I could do this forever, can't I? If I just keep doing this. See, what, what I'm doing right now should do nothing, right? But it makes a bricked profile every time. So, Dev, I know this is a demo. Huge problem! Fix! Actually, I'm gonna- you know what? I'm gonna check real fast. Let's go to the Steam- let's go to the Sage page. I- I actually kinda hope that I'm playing an outdated build. Let's see. Uh-oh. It only has one download file, which indicates to me that this probably wasn't an updated thing. Yeah, I don't think it was updated. That's not good. Um, and the comments section does not address the issue. So, I'm going to assume that if I made a brick- hold on, there's one- I guess there is one last check I'd like to do. Just real fast, but... If we make a brick profile, I bet you- I bet you that you could probably still use- Actually, no, I'm not gonna check this. I've done enough checks. I've learned enough today. But, this is a brick profile right here, because I entered the profile screen and backed up, and it made a brick profile. I wonder if- I don't know for a fact, because I could check this, but I'm a little tired of checking. If I go and edit this brick profile, and I give it some stats, right? Right? I give it some, like, whatever. I wonder if that fixed it. Now that I've edited the profile and saved the edit, it may have now turned it into a proper save profile. I wouldn't risk it. If I were, if you play this game, do not use the default profile, make a new one, make sure to name it, never hit the X button. Or hell, just make sure you hit the checkmark button, you'll be fine. Even if you leave everything default, now it's fine. But if you hit the X, you create a brick profile that basically acts like a no save profile. Um, so yeah, uh, Dev, it, it's a little late now. Sage has been going for a while. It's probably there's probably no point in putting up a new build. But uh, make sure to fix that when you bring this game along. Oh, but that was, I guess, Celestial Soul. 
Um, I really think it looks cool. I wanted to play that challenge level, check out the other characters. I'm sure there's more entertainment with the debug mode and the other characters and everything. There's clearly a bit more to check out, and I, I, I'm sad and uh, apologetic that I couldn't check it out for you guys. Um, that being said, I also don't feel bad about having encountered and uh, been afflicted by this bug because... <laughs> I mean, it has a default, it has a no say profile, and it has a default profile that's just there to use that isn't a no say profile. So naturally, I think most people would probably just select that profile and use it. I don't think what I did was that unusual. Um, <laughs> see you next stage, Dev. Yeah, if I feel like it, if I feel like it. I imagine the bug will be fixed for next stage, um, especially if the dev sees this video. I hope they do. Uh, I've actually had numerous uh, stage devs, even this year, already responding to my videos, which is really cool. Uh, people watching and see what my thoughts of the games are. So I really hope this dev uh, checks out this video, sees the problems, because, yeah, that's uh, that's legitimately game-ending. So um, can you imagine, like, if you played, if you had the full game, you played, like, a, a six-hour session of this, and then you just turned it off, and then you came back, and it's like, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, this is a bug that could very easily remain into the full version if the dev isn't aware of it, um, and nobody makes them aware of it. But I made them aware of it, hopefully. Um but yeah, I, I, I'd like to say that I checked this out on a later stage, but like I said, it's really demotivating to have that sort of thing happen where you just lose all your progress. By next year and stuff, I'll probably be over it and be willing to replay the stages again. So probably I could probably check this out on a later stage if they bring it back to stage. But I will promise you this. If I do, very first thing I'm going to do is make sure the profile saves before I do anything with it. Uh, make sure the saving is working correctly. Um, cause yeah, Celestial Soul here, like, let's ignore the game breaking bug for a second. This is amazing. Like, I love the humor. I love the character designs, the animations, the, the dialogue is silly. Matter of fact, in a, in a fun way, uh, the characters just talking in weird little flat tones that are really funny, actually. Um, this, this has a lot of potential. Like the, the gameplay too is it, it's very fluid. It flows well. The ranking system is fair. The challenges are interesting. Like, uh, these challenges make me legitimately want to see what the challenges for later levels will be, because I'm sure they would be unique and interesting, too. I, I, there's always there's always a get-all-berries one, but uh, the other ones are typically changing up quite a bit. So, um, yeah, Celestial Soul looks like a really good game. It just needs to fix this game-breaking bug, and then I think we're good to go at that point. So I wish the dev well uh, on further progress with this, and I, of course... If that bug is fixed, that's really my main complaint. Uh, any last thoughts from you guys? 6 out of 10, it really needs a lot of tune-up, and especially that glitch. Yeah. I mean, I would say this build is a 6 out of 10. The game, probably a good 8 out of 10. If yeah, agreed. This build, yeah. though, is... is it's, it's unfair to the player because it was on the save data when they think they're saving it. Oops. Um... But yeah, that was Celestial Soul. I, I wish I could have had a happier ending for this because I do feel like it is a good game, but we'll see things get ironed out for the future, I, I'm sure. So, uh, Dev is clearly working with a custom engine here, I want to remind you guys, so I bet you this is just some crazy little bug that uh, it's one of, the, one, of the, one of the trials of using custom code, I suppose. Um, but that was Celestial Soul, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry I couldn't check out all of it today for the Sage, but uh, I think it's understandable why I decided to stop there. 